This is Grace with Graceful Living. Today we have a special workout with Liz Miller. She is going to show us what she does to stretch out her chest and shoulders for her fibromyalgia. You will need a belt or a strap and three blocks. Today I'm going to show you some gentle stretches that helped me with the places in my body that feel stuck and tight and painful in fibromyalgia and help me prepare for doing a more dynamic flowing practice. So first I'm going to start with the neck. In this pose, I actually am resisting against my the stretch. I'm actually resisting against my hands. So I'm pressing my head towards the left, and I'm actually trying to turn towards the right. Try to hold for about 30 seconds. This one you want to draw the shoulder blades down and back and draw the arms behind the ears to help release those tender spots in the front of the shoulder. And release. Now here we're going to move on to just warming up the spine. Just a few cat cows. When you have fibromyalgia, sometimes the sides of the hips feel tight, so you can also add in some move, gentle movements from side to side. It's important to stretch the attachments of the muscle, because that's usually where the painful sore points are. And start out with just a little slight range of motion and start going deeper, increasing your range of motion. And come back and work a little more on the shoulders. And start your capsule where the shoulder attaches to the chest. You want to extend your arms straight out 90 degrees from your torso. Be precise with the alignment if you can. And roll onto your left ear and place your right foot behind you. The right hand should be on the yoga mat, helping assist you to open the right hip towards the ceiling and place more pressure on the left shoulder. I'm going to show you how this looks from the other side. So on this side, I'm going to extend my right arm straight out to the right and place my left hand down, right ear to the mat. Use this hand to adjust the pressure. The elbow should be up off the mat. It's important. And roll as open as you can. Hold these stretch for, try to hold about 40 seconds, 30 seconds minimum. You can do it twice if you like. And then come back through center. The next stretch I'm going to show you, this is one of the most important stretches and I wanted to save it for a little bit, after we're a little bit warm because this helps relieve that aching, burning, um, inflamed feeling in the front of the collarbones that's so common with fibromyalgia. So place two yoga blocks up at the front of your yoga mat and if you're quite stiff, you might 
want space for your head in between. Take a strap, or if you don't have a strap, you can use a belt. Make sure you have a loop and a strap. And then tighten up the strap so the elbows are about shoulder width apart. If your shoulders are very tight, you might want to go a little bit wider with the elbows, but try to get as close to shoulder width apart as you can. You also want to have the strap right on the elbow joint. Some people try to put the strap up too high and then there's no room to, for your head to go in between your arms. So make sure you're nice and low. And then walk your knees back a little farther than you think you would need. The knees need to be right underneath the hip joint and walk your arms forward. From here, hold on to your block, your third block. So you, so it's called a three block stretch. You want to hold on to the block with the fingers wrapping around the top of the block. Walk the knees back. Tuck your chin towards your collarbones. Gaze towards your navel if you can. And then draw the forehead towards the floor. From here, really extend your chest forward and your armpits towards the floor. You'll go to a place where you can feel the burn across the collarbones but it's not an intense pain. You want to still be able to breathe calmly, in and out, with and out. This one I recommend for holding about one minute. You can come up, take a little rest. And then if you have it in you, I recommend doing this one twice for one minute. It's a really good one for opening the shoulders. It's also great for just the posture and the health of the spine. Once this becomes easier for you, if you're easily hitting the floor and your chest is forward, you can always move to a higher setting of the blocks. This is very important. Okay, so next I'm going to show you a lunge stretch for the back of the shoulders, and then we'll get into the hips. So now we're going to thread the needle. Show you with the left side first. Inhale your left arm up, exhale. Thread the needle. Take the left arm right underneath your right armpit. Take your right elbow to the floor. Now some people like to draw the left ear to the floor. This is a very gentle stretch. If you want something a little bit firmer, a little bit deeper, I recommend taking the forehead straight down. And you can adjust how much weight you put on that shoulder. I know that when, especially when you have fibromyalgia, every day your body feels different. So some days you might be able to go deeper and some days you might want to back off. Listen to your body, but make sure you still do something so your body doesn't get stuck and the inflammation doesn't build up. Let's do the other side. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, thread it through. The right palm should be facing the ceiling, either right ear to the mat, or forehead straight down. If you can handle forehead straight down, I recommend it. It gets into more parts of the shoulder. Try to keep this hand relaxed. And inhale, come on up. So those are some good, those are some good stretches for this upper part of the body and to help get the spine moving. Thank you, Liz, for sharing with us your routine to stretch your shoulders and chest. Stay tuned for the next episode where Liz shows us lower body stretching of hips. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Please go to graceinhawaii.com for more information.